Love sack by Carly. Brandon Heslop. Senior number head coach is coach Jim Baldy. He has 155 total wins and 66 over the program back in 2003. His 14th year as head coach. Assistant coach Rich Hitterschitz. Third year assistant coach. Their current record is 2 and 1. Only loss was in the finals of the Wato Attorney Finals versus Carl Place. Last week's result, in the first round of the Wato Holiday Tournament, never beat the host Wato 52 39. But then lost in the finals against Carl Place 53 35. Last week's highlights, Kelsey Vanderwater had a third straight game with 30 points, and Memphis held only three players with above five points. But fell losing by 18 in the finals to a tough Carl Place team in the Wato Holiday Sports Coaches Girls Washington Basketball Tournament. And now the Kennedy Cougars. Coached by Mallory Palmieri. Kennedy is 5 0 this year, no losses through five games for them. Last week, Kennedy had their fifth straight win over the Calhoun Colts in a close 56 55 win. Last week, Kennedy had five players with over, with over five points, including four who had double digit points. Rose Mahani scored 15 points for Belmore JFK. And now the national anthem. Last week in the 56-55 win for Kennedy, they had five players with above five points, including. We now bring you the Memphis keys to the game. Memphis needs to, the team to work together. It needs to make sure the starting five are hitting their shots, and a team cannot make careless mistakes, Coach Wolf says, and they need to have good ball movement. Memphis needs to move the ball around the top of the key and get their starters to get, to get some nice shots. Here they come for the opening tip, the Kennedy Cougars and the Mepham Pirates. And now what Kennedy needs to do to win. Kennedy needs to have good ball movement. Their starters need to show up to play. They also need to out-rebound those Pirates. They need to lock down Kelsey Vanderwater on defense. And Mahadi needs to lead her squad with the rise of star freshman Cameron Montevano. And here comes the tip. Tipped, won by Cameron, but goes to the Mepham Pirates. Here's number 20, Cara Castialdo. Swinging around the zone, cast inside to number four, Kelsey Vanderwater, the guard with the first points of the game. What a nice pass to Kelsey Vanderwater, lead score on the Buffalo Pirates. Here comes number 15, Rose Mahani. Good pass inside to number five, but goes out for Mepham Ball. Passes to Cara Castialdo. Stolen by Cara Montalbano. Here's Rose Mahani. Mahani for three. Can't fall. Rebounded by Cara Castialdo. Here's Mepham bringing it up the court. There's number four, Kelsey Vanderwater for three. Off the back over, can't get gets it to fall. Ariana McLean trying to get a rebound, but she can't get there. Here's number 20, Cameron Montabano, driving up the court quickly. 
to Rose Mahani. Mahani to Cameron. Cameron drives his own. Elton can't get it to fall. Kelsey Vanderwater with the rebound, but steps out of bounds. Kennedy ball. Rocco, what do you think the first minute and a half, how do you think the first minute and a half has gone for both teams? You know, uh, I credit, I think, the Pirates. Uh, I'm telling you guys to watch the screen. He's going to do it. I think, uh, Fred, I think the, uh, I think the left Pirates are doing a great job right now. Uh, concentrating their defense on Kenny Cougar's not allowed to score. Here's Rose Mahani. Passes it inside. Oh, what a beautiful five, pass Carly by the Kennedy Cougars to get that soft layup to go in. Here's. It's a two on one. She goes all the way. Layup. And one. Number 32, Julia Anderson. What a great move by Julia Anderson. Mo Mr. Moley carrying Marine Baganos. What to do? Five-year varsity player for the Pirates, and a, and a senior captain. She's been battling the ACL injury from last year's season. Here's Cameron Montalbano to play it in. Number five, Carly Willis. There's number 13, Rachel Katz. Katz to Montalbano. Montalbano to Willis. Willis out to number 13. Rachel Katz. Katz drives his own. Fouled by the Memphis Pirates. It looks like it's number 31, Ariana McLean with the foul. That was a hard foul right there. Two shots for Rachel Katz. First one, two it's a 4-3 game, two minutes into the first score. There's number, number five, Carly Willis, has been doing good, driving, the, passing the ball around to her, to her offense. You know, Brennan, Carly Wills, Coach Palmieri says, she's a very scrappy go to defender to shut down other teams. And she also is a captain. Great drive there for Mary Ann Baganos. She is the senior captain who's committed to Malloy for basketball. There's Mahani. Mahani. Play tight defense right now. To Estrin. Estrin out the Cats. Cats drives his own. There's Carly Willis who picks it up. Carly Willis for three. Can't get it to fall, but rebounded by number 32, Julia Anderson. Here comes Anderson, dribbling up. Estrin steals it. It falls to Baganos. Baganos to Carly Willis. Carly Willis with the wide open layup. That was a nice basket by Carly Willis, all by herself right there. Ball's touched, goes out for Mecklenburg Ball. by Cameron Matabano. Here's Rose Mahani. Mahani taking it up for Rachel Katz. Jesse Irks Estrin. To Carly Willis. Carly Willis looks to drive this on. Passes out to Jesse Estrin, who hit the mid-range shot. Rebounded by Cameron Matabano of Kennedy. Good bucket there by Rachel Katz. You know, Brandon, our coach Palmieri says that uh, when Cameron bought the bottle of the floor, she makes the team play very well. She makes them play up-tempo. Julia Anderson can't get it. It's Rachel Katz who passes to Rose Mahan. After Carly Willis. Rachel Katz gets her own rebound. McQueen keeps her in the corner. Cats off the clean and goes out for Kennedy Ball. This game between Mepham Pirates and Kennedy Cougars is the district rivalry between these two Belmore Merrick Central High School District schools. Rachel Katz, top of the key. Cats, Cameron Matabano, she drives his own, scores over Julia Anderson. That was a great move by Cameron Matabano. Coach Palmieri says she is one of the better scorers on this team. Play very 
Good ball moving by Meffer. Julia Anderson drives his own, left-handed. Can't get it to fall. It's Cameron Montalbano taking it up the left-hand side of the court. Rose Mahani to Carly Willis. Cameron Montalbano is a rising star freshman on his team. Coach Carberry says she has a terrific tenacity on and off the court. Vanderwater to Tara Castaldo. Here comes a foul on Kennedy. Number 13, Rachel Katz with the foul. Julia Litigan comes in for number 32, Julia Anderson. Nelson Vanderwater. You know, Brennan, one of the best surprises today is uh, the senior captain, Barry Evagoda, is starting. Yeah, we spoke to Coach Bowie earlier in the week. She said she wasn't really sure if she was going to come back right away. But this is already her third and fourth game in, and now she's starting now with a very dangerous ACL injury from last season. Big bucket by Ariana, Ariana McQueen, who drove the zone, got the N1, and still got the bucket to fall. Here's the free throw. Thanks it in. Sophomore Ariana McQueen, Bobby says she is coming into her road. She said he said she worked hard in the offseason to become one of the most prolific performers on the Pirates. Montabano to Rachel Nelson. Here's Kelsey Vanderwater taking it up the left hand side of the court. Stolen by Rachel. There she goes. Across court. Good pass to, to Rose Mahani, but Mahani can't bring it in. Coach H says that Ariana played with last season with Project and was still learning the game. But is now ready for the start of the He's ready to help contribute to overall team success. He said he had a good show in the Walker Holiday tournament. Had a double double against the always tough Watton Warriors. Coach Here comes says that with Rory. 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 He says she was a big part of their game, but if the play is coming for herself, he, has, he says she is the replacement. It could be as good as Testa replacing or even better. Coming in, came in Lori Della Croce for Marianne Pagonis. Rose Mahani on the top of the key. Best to reach the Rose Mahani drives his own. Layup. Can't get the ball. The rebounded by number four, Kelsey Vanderwater. Ball for Tara Castaldo. Gloria Della Croce at the point guard. With 2.22 left in the first quarter, Kennedy's up 12 to 9. Vanderwater. Good ball moved by Pippa. Ariana McQueen can't get the ball, but trying to get her own rebound. <laughs> Roy Della Croce can't get it to fall. Injured player Ariana McLean, not looking so good. Ariana McLean landed wrong on that last play. Coming in for her is Maxine Bresnik. Good, great basket there by Rose Mahani. Kennedy Cougars pressing high. Roy De La Croce to Cara Costaldo. That was a good shot by senior Rose Mahani. She took over the point guard job after Nikolia Torshia left last season as she was a departing senior. Julia Lennigan, now to Cara Costaldo. Costaldo drives his own, gets the layup to fall. Good left-handed layup by Cara Costaldo. Here's Rose Mahani, top of the key, drives his own, passes to Rachel Nelson. For three, can't get the ball, rebounded by Kelsey Vanderwater. Mulvey not happy with this team right now. Kelsey, can't get it to fall. There's Maxine Bresnader who can't get the second chance bucket to fall. And it's Meppen Ball under the basket. You know, Brian, a key loss for the Kenneth Coos last year was the loss of Nicolia Torshia, who was their captain, senior, and point guard. And lost Laura Nixon, who was a 6'3", strong power forward. Rose Mahadi, who was playing the three guard last year, has stepped up to be a point guard and also is a great ball handler. So she's going to swing down to the point guard position right now. In a busy big position, we have, they have Jesse. At Estrin, who's a return, she had a nose injury last year, so she didn't get much time, but she was worthy of it. She also has a nice big to have in there, who has a nice outside shot. Estrin is the replacement of graduating senior, Laura Nixon, Coach Palmer says. Here's Rose Mahani taking it off the court. There goes Mahani. 
The pass is in time to Jesse Eshton. Eshton at the top of the free throw line. Can't get it to fall. Now Kelsey Vanderwater. Vanderwater with Kevin Montalbano on it. With under 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter, Kennedy's up 14-11. It is close, tightly contested district for our region. It's Meppen Ball under the basket. They line up in a stack formation. There's Cara Castaldo. Rachel Nelson passes it to Carly Willis. Carly Willis drives his own, shoots it, hits the bottom of the basket. Rachel Nelson to Jesse Estrin. Estrin can't get the ball. White ball with 16 seconds left. That was a good move by Carly Willis right there. Just couldn't get the go. Coming in is Marianne Gordonis and number 32, Julia Anderson. Lori Della Cruz goes. 13 seconds left. Here goes Kelsey Vanderwater, who sees Cara Castaldo with the layup, can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Montalbano, but it's Anderson with five seconds left. Stolen by Rachel with three seconds left. Two, one, can't get the shot to fall. That is the end of the first quarter with the score of Kennedy 14 and the Met Pirates are up. Rocco, what do you think went well for both teams in the first quarter? Well, you know, Bert, I think uh, Buffalo's defense was really going good yeah, uh, total the last two minutes of that quarter. And uh, that stopped the rising star of Cara Bottomano and Carly Wills as their speedy quickness, could, their defense could not stop them. In and out with the three. That was a good look by Julie Anderson. Usually, Marion Bogos just lights out from downtown. Couldn't get going right there. Montabano to play it into Rose Mahan. Here comes Rose. Taking up the floor. Drives it to the left hand side. Balls out to Jesse Anderson. Here's Carly Willis. Carly Willis at the camera, Montabano. There's the freshman camera on the bottom, so you back to the Willis. Willis, Ashton, Ashton the shot, hits the fall. Very, very good ball movement there for the Kennedy Cougars. And it's 16-11. There's Cara Castaldo, can't get up the ball, but Anderson gets the rebound, and one! Memphis fans really like that one. That was a great, great play by Julian Anderson. Getting the air one convert right there. 16-13. Still with Julia Anderson. Can't get it to fall. 
rebounded. You know, Brennan, Julie Edson is the post player for, this, for the Vampire Pirates. She's a senior captain, five-year varsity player. Coming off last season's ACL injury, she's a post down low threat, Coach Coach K, Coach Eight says. She has a very high basketball IQ. Does a lot more, even if she doesn't score to get the team winning. Who's Willis? Willis made a good move. Willis. Got his own. Don't know what's getting called here. An invert whistle here. No foul. Nothing. But it looks like it's going to be a jump ball. You know, Brenda, what do you think has been the key for kind of keep right now? I feel like Rose Mahani has been doing good driving the zone and passing it out to people open around the perimeter. And when she has a free lane, she's using it. As you can see, Ariana McLean is up and moving. Hopefully she can come back in from the Pirates. Ariana McLean. She's up and moving. Hopefully, kind of get back into the game. It's nice to see uh, Ariana play from the number well. She took a hard fall on that play. Which let's go, guys. Let's go. Controversy on the floor. Rocco, what do you think's been going good for the Kennedy Cougar uh, defense? You know, I think they're really had a key, key output on this game by stopping the threat of offensive player Kelsey Vanderwood. That's been the key right now. She's only scored four points so far. came in before this play started, it was freshman Julia Rollinson. She is the only freshman on the Mepham Pirates varsity team. Julia Rollinson works hard every single practice. She is a competitor. Last, last game versus Wanta, she guarded one of, the, one of the best players for them and locked her down. There's Cameron Montabano, who gets the ball back, who shoots Julia Anderson. And there goes Julia Rollinson on a wide open layup. Can't get it to fall. Wide open layup, still can't get it to fall. And Rawlinson gets the rebound. Passes to Kelsey Vanderwater. Vanderwater, out to Marianne Bagones. Julia Linekin, stolen by Cameron Montabano. Basket is no good from Carly Willows. That was a nice pass by Cameron Montabano. Bogonis out to Vanderwater. Vanderwater for three. Wet. That's a tie game. Mulvey not happy, but a big bucket for the Mepham Pirates before the timeout. It's 16 16 in this tight game between the Mepham Pirates and the Kennedy Cougars. Coach Mulvey is in his 14th season with 155 total wins since taking, or, since taking over as head coach of the program in 2003. Rocco, what do you think Mulvey is telling his is telling his girls during this timeout? You know, I think he's telling them that they have to, you know, slow down. They have to take good, high percentage shots, and they need to shut down this Kennedy, this Kennedy movement, right, ball movement, because they've been getting, they've they've broken side to the zone and they've got to the basket almost 80 percent of the time so far. Rachel Katz is the leading scorer so far for Kennedy. We we think Mepham needs to lock her down for this, for the game to be in reach for the Mepham Pirates. Estrin, can't get it to fall, rebounded by Marianne Bogonis. There she goes, dribbling, up the court. Walls is fighting for it. Fred Water misses. There's Cameron Montabano on the ball. Jesse Estrin to Carly Willis. Carly Willis with two points today. There's Rose Mahani. Mahani with six. And she just makes it nine. No, she, actually eight. Refs are saying it's a two, not a three. 
Rose Mahad having a great game so far. Already has eight points. There's Kelsey Vanderwater to Marianne Bogonis. Bogonis for three, can't get it to fall. There's Julia Erk Estrin. And Julia Anderson now with the basket. That was great ball movement by the Pirates right there to find the high percentage shot they were looking for. Rose Mahani taking it up court. Mahani with eight points. There's Carly Willis, drives his own. Off Vanderwater's leg, calling it a kick ball. Here comes Danielle Lewin. And out, Carly Willis. Coming out for the Mepham Pirates is Julia Linekin. Rose Mahani already with eight points so far in the game. She's been the leading scorer for the Kennedy Cougars and the head point guard, moving the ball around well for these Kennedy Cougars. Now the freshman, Julia Rollinson coming out. Montevano to pass it in. There's Jesse Estrin. Brett, did you know that Rose Mahadi is a three-sport athlete? Three, what, what, what three sports does she play? She's very athletic. Rebounded by Marianne Bagonis. There she goes down the right-hand side. Good move by Bagonis to get around Montabano. Drives, travel call by the ref. It's 18-18 with four minutes left in the second period quarter. That was a hard fall by senior captain, Maria Bagonis. While she has her ACL injury, she's, Coach Wolvie says she's practically playing through playing right now. There's Rose Mahani. Mahani guarded by Cara Costaldo. There's number five, Caroline Keene guarding Danielle Lewin. Lewin gets her own rebound. Passes to Jesse Estrin. Julia Anderson, the big for the Mepham Pirates, already has six, six points and a couple of rebounds for them. Foul on number four, Kelsey Vanderwater. Looks like McLean might be coming back in, having a talk on the bench with Coach Mulvey. And yes, she is. Ariana McLean after her injury. Shot can't get, can't go. see that Ariana McLean is coming back in after that hard fall she took when she first got out. First one didn't go for Montabano. Looking to hit the second one and give the Kennedy Cougars a one point lead. Shot. Mm. Falls. Caroline Keene to inbound. There's Marianne Bagonis. Thrown over the head of Ariana McLean. Mulvey is not happy with that one. Montabano to, to inbound. Passes out to Lewin. Lewin for three, can't get the ball. There's Caroline Keene with the big rebound. Now taking it on the two on one. Keene gets fouled by Lewin, and that's gonna be two shots. Rocco, what do you, how do you think the Mepham Pirates have been doing the last couple of minutes? Uh, I think they've been playing good defense, but they can play a little bit better. As you can see that the Cougars have a lot of momentum on this side, and they just, just keep moving that ball movement that they worked so hard during practice for. There's Caroline Keene. She just came in two minutes ago, and she's already made a big difference. She made a good interception on that last play, and now she has two shots. Caroline Keene is a junior, an outside zone buster, Moby calls there. First one, can't get the ball. Coach H says she's not afraid to shoot either, Brendan. Coach Mulvey also says she helps the team by shooting the three ball against zone defenses. Shot. Falls for Caroline Keene. It's a 19-19 game, and the Pirates are, pr are pressing high. There's Rose Mahani, defended by Cara Costaldo. Costaldo gets the interception. Now Caroline Keene on another fast break. It's a two on two. Keene goes up, can't get it to fall. Good defense by Cameron Montabano there. Mahani gets it to fall. That's double digit points already for Rose Mahani. Caroline Keene now inbounding to Marianne Bagonis. Bagonis, Anderson. Anderson has Castaldo down the side, but the ball can't get there quick enough. Off McLean's hand and goes out.
last quarter. Here comes Rose Mahani with 10 points already in the game. We're not even into halftime, and Mahani already has double digit points. There she goes, driving the zone, trying to make it 12. McLean gets the rebound. First big play for McLean, but she passes away. Montabano can't put it in. There's Lewin. Lewin. Shot. Shot. Can't get the fall. McLean can't get the rebound. Rachel Katz. Good hard work play there. Good pass by Bogonis to Keen. Keen can't get it to fall. Lewin trying to get the rebound. Good hustle by both teams there. Now Jesse Estrin. Kennedy finally Mahani. comes up with it. Mahani. Good ball fake. Rachel Katz. Can't get the fall. There's a foul there by number 21, Ariana McLean. That was a beautiful pass by Rose Mahia right there to find Je Rachel Katz right there. Katz already has six rebounds in the game. She has six rebounds and eight points. Now coming out, Rachel Katz, the leading scorer of the game so far. And coming in for Mepham is Lori Della Crochet for Ariana McLean. Also coming in for Kennedy, Rachel Dawson. McLean does not look so good after coming out. Rachel Katz makes her free throw. It's Bogonis. With 159 left to go in the second quarter, the Kennedy Cougars are up 22 to 19. Foul by Rachel Katz. Coach Wolfe, very unhappy with that call right there. That's three team fouls for Kennedy and three team fouls for Mepham. Coming in is Carly Willis. Coming out is Rachel Katz, who already has two fouls. Good move by Julia Anderson, but can't get the finish. Pagonis. Pass out to Della Crochet, who gets the three to fall and makes it a tie game. That was a great shot by Lori Della Crochet right there. Lewin intercepted by Keen. There goes Keen with Willis on her back. Keen goes up, can't get it to fall. Cara Castaldo off her leg, and yes, it does go out for Kennedy Cougar ball. With that shot right there from Lori Della Crochet. She's a sophomore, their backup point guard, backup two guard, was put on JV at first because they thought she would get a ton of, t ton of time down there. However, she is now in the top nine of the rotation of 10 girl rotation. Intercepted, no, Rachel Nelson still in the ball. Very tight defense on the Mepham Pirates. Goes out for Kennedy Cougar ball. Brandon, both teams very aggressive defensively early on. Yes, I feel like both teams have been going at it. They really don't want to lose this rivalry game. Here's Jesse Estrid. Passes to Montabano. Montabano on her left hand. Uses her right, though. Can't get it to fall. Bad communication there from the Pirates, and Estrid has to, gets picked up the ball. It's Montabano. Montabano turns to Danielle Lewin. Lewin across court with a good pass to Rachel Nelson. And a foul. The foul is on. White 20. That is Cara Castaldo. That's two shots now. Yeah. Now coming in is the, is the game's leading scorer, Rose Mahani, who has ten, 12 points. And coming in is Danielle Lewin. This is a freshman. Shot. Gets the fall. There's two for two there from the line. Bogonis with 53 seconds left. Back. Stolen by Carly Willis. Carly Willis trying to go inside to Rose Mahani, but it can't get there. There's Lori Della Crochet. Cara Castaldo. Castaldo. Bogonis now. For three. Not falling. Julia Anderson now. Anderson. Good pass to Willis. Willis trying to pass it to Della Crochet. Gets there. Anderson now. Back to Della Crochet. For three, can't fall. It's Willis, 25 seconds left. Nepham hustling back. Mahani, can't get it to fall. Ball goes out. White ball with 20 seconds left. Rocco, what play do they think Nepham are gonna hold it for the last shot or just try to get an easy bucket? I think they're going to keep it for the last shot and get the best possible high percent shot they can get. Keen, drives, can't fall. 
Rose Mahani with nine seconds left. Mahani for three. Can't fall, there's still three seconds left. Two, one, and that is the end of the first half of play with the score of Kennedy Cougars 24, Mepham Pirates 21. Rocco, what do you think is gonna be going on at the halftime talks for both teams? Well, I feel like Coach Bovey will be talking to their team about high, still keeping their high percentage of defense right now and still keeping Kennedy's offense to few second chance points because they've had a lot of second chance points right now. So they're just trying to focus on what they could do better to keep to get to gain the lead right here. Brandon, what do you think has to be going on in Coach Palmieri's head right now? I feel like Coach Palmieri is happy with the team. I feel like she is happy at the way that they've been playing. I feel like she is happy that they have a three-point lead. Coach Mulvey, I don't know if he is the happiest, but I feel like he's pretty happy with Met from Pirates only down three points at halftime. As talked about by Coach Palmieri, Rose Mahadi having a fantastic game. Already has double digits heading into the half. We got nine minutes of halftime here between the Kennedy Cougars and the Mepham Pirates. This is the BMB Sports Halftime Report, and this is the BMB Game of the Week between the Mepham Pirates and the Kennedy Cougars. It's a close one here, 24-21, but hopefully one team can go out on top. These, two, these, these are two of the three schools that are in the Belmore Merrick Central High School District. Last week, the Kennedy Cougars played against the other Belmore Merrick Central High School di District team, the Calhoun Colts, and Kennedy came up on top with a 56-55 win. Coming up this week will be the Mepham Pirates who play the Calhoun Colts on Wednesday night in another district rivalry game. That's gonna be a tough one. Kennedy Cougars had a one beat Beat the Calhoun Colts by one point last game. All the starters today for the Kennedy Cougars have been having a great game, especially Rose Mahani, who has 12 points. Julie Anderson, their top scorer, already has seven points, and Kelsey Vanderwater has five points. Rose Mahani, tied with Carly Willis, lead the team with six points each. Kennedy's next week's opponent is away at 2 and 3 Roslyn. Monday at 7 o'clock p.m. Rocco, what do you think is gonna, who do you, what team do you think is gonna step it up in this third quarter? You know, I really think that both teams are evenly matched and it's been a really tough game for both teams trying to score. Both defenses have been, hold, have been holding in, have been holding each other to bare minimum now with only 24-21 leading. 